What's up guys? It is definitely fall here in NYC and I have been stuffing my face with some delicious spots to eat here in good old New York. Um, I'm going to show you some, old, some of my old favorites, some new spots, and I hope you love them all. I'm sure you can find uh, some amazing spots, so uh, let's go and let's go eat. All right, so let's start off in Midtown. First up, Urban Space Vanderbilt. This is just steps away from Grand Central Station for those of you that will be in Midtown area. And can I tell you, this has some of the greatest uh, restaurants in NYC. You have Bob White Counter, you have Black Iron Burger, you have Dough Donuts, you have Roberta's Pizza. It can save you from going around all over the city, all in one spot. These places are delicious. Tons of locals go there, so fun be sure to bring your appetite. And hey, since you're steps away from Grand Central, you might as well walk over. The place is gorgeous, the architecture, phenomenal. Um, check it out, but there's so much in Grand Central Market. First up, you have uh, Great Northern Food Hall, which is kind of has a Nordic vibe to it. Um, totally amazing. And then um, on that same level, you actually also have uh, Zaro's Bakery. Zaro's actually has my favorite black and white cookies in all of NYC. God, I love these things. They are delicious. Fun fact, black and white cookie is not actually a cookie. It's more of a cake, but hey. Um, you also have Grand Central Market. This place is great. Pick up uh, some breads, uh, Murray's cheeses, probably the best cheesemonger in all of NYC. So many delicious things you can grab and go. Also, if you didn't already know, Grand Central down below has an entire food hall as well. Well, another food hall, if I should say. You have Donut Plant, probably my number one donuts in NYC. You have Shake Shack. You have Magnolia Bakery. Save yourself a trip all the way to West Village and just go to this one. The place is amazing. All before you grab a train or you're checking out. Look at the ladies doing their best. Oh my God, this stuff is delicious. Give me all the cupcakes. All right, let's head over to Brooklyn. Frankel's in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I love this place. I love Greenpoint. Definitely you want to walk around before and after eating at Frankel's. Have so much going on here. Bagels, but I specifically went for their pastrami cheese and egg sandwich. Oh my God, it was delicious. Highly recommend. All right, let's head back over to the city to one of my all-time favorite ramen joints, Mr. Taka Ramen. Only a few years old here in NYC, but let me tell you, this place is delicious. Today, I went for their vegan um, miso ramen, and let me tell you, or spicy ramen, I should say, and it was delicious. Highly recommend it. If you want dessert and want a quick little bite, Maman is the perfect spot. They are especially known for their baked goods and especially known for their chocolate chip cookie. And let me tell you, it is worth the trip. There's a few Maman um, locations. I went to the one down in Soho and oh, this thing, look at it, forget about it. Now, since we're on a food tour, I couldn't uh, exclude some of the hottest restaurants. One of them is Cathedral in the Moxie Hotel in the East Village. And let me tell you, Cathedral is the hot spot of the moment in NYC. This place is awesome. The place is gorgeous, gorgeous crowd, food, amazing. You will not be disappointed. Be sure to make a reservation. Tables are super hard to get. All right. Speaking of ramen, I had to go to Udon West in the East Village. This place is cozy. It's delicious. The price is right. It's cash only, by the way. But let me tell you, oh my God, this Udon is amazing. You must get it. Look at that. I mean, come on. I'm drooling right now. Another super hot spot in NYC just opened up is Catch Steak. So those of you going to NYC in mood for big fat steak and all the all the fixins, check out Catch Steak. Total hot spot. Very hard reservations to get. 
and you, when you go there you definitely got to get their focaccia bread it is delicioso and um you're going to want to have a ball there you're going to have a blast um yeah it catch steak definitely go All right, next up you got Koreatown. And Koreatown, if you go on 32nd Street between Fifth Avenue and Broadway, it is just a whole smorgasbord of restaurants. But this place, Jongro, it, on the second floor, look at it, it's about 7.30 on a Wednesday and this place is crazy packed. It's such a fun experience to have with you and your friends. Bring a group if you can. Uh, the more you, people you bring, the more you can sample. Um, plays really good, food's amazing, service is great, um, classic Koreatown um, kind of experience, you will definitely love it. Now after all that delicious Korean barbecue, Definitely save room for dessert because right across the street and again just on 32nd Street There's tons of really amazing little dessert stores or bakeries here You have one that me and my friends uh, stopped in and I mean come on. It, it, it's just overwhelming. It's Ridiculous what they have here. So again save room for dessert when you're in Koreatown. Oh my god. There's just it, it uh, the options are overwhelming oh and Gray Street, oh, be sure to stop in there for their shaved um, ice cream. Oh my god, so good. Now just a few blocks away from Koreatown is Jean Famous Foods. They actually have several locations. The price is right, their menu is solid, pretty inexpensive, and look at their noodles. I got the spicy, be forewarned if you get the extra spicy, your mouth will be on fire, but guys, the noodles at Jean can famous foods oh so good and again several locations so be sure to look them up oh, so spicy so good all right we're heading down to east village you got spot dessert bar and let me tell you spot is the spot it is always packed they have two locations there and a few around the city it is a dessert lovers paradise look at this stuff oh my god i i, I just can't i can't folks All right, back down to the East Village, Cooper's. Cooper's has one of my favorite things in all of NYC. A very simple but very delicious grilled cheese sandwich with tomato bisque. This grilled cheese has bacon in it. It is probably one of my all-time favorite sandwiches in NYC. Look at this bad boy. It is absolutely delicious. Greasy, fatty, oh my god, the tomato bisque with it, uh, and it was a cold rainy night when I shot this video. <sighs> Ooh, it hit the spot. Oh yeah, dip and go, dip and go. All right, guys, my favorite slice joint. Look at this line, Prince Street Pizza. Oh, thank god I beat this line or I'd never wait. Go, you gotta go. Maybe don't wait in the line that long, but Prince Street Pizza, my favorite slice in all of NYC. I will argue that to the death and you got to get their pepperoni slice that is what you go for here that is what they're known for look at this bad boy look at those brony cups mm. all right guys also one of my favorite donut spots is dough donuts in the flat iron area um, they actually have their original location in Brooklyn, but Dough Donuts oh, get their passion fruit or their hibiscus. They also have like daily and weekly special donuts. Oh, so good. All right, we're gonna 
take our chopper and head across the river to Brooklyn, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and Misi. Misi is the second restaurant. Um, the original one is Lilia's, uh, also in Williamsburg. And Misi, let me tell you, this place is absolutely stunning. Um, it's beautiful. Most of their seating is actually on the counter, which I love, so you can see people cook. But I have to tell you, it is probably the best pasta I've ever had in all of NYC. Um, I got the stuffed tortellini, and I was blown away how good it was. It's beautiful. It's delicious. Uh, Misi, you have to go. Please go when you're in NYC. Williamsburg, Brooklyn, you will not be disappointed. There they are, the masters at work. All right, probably my number two slice in all NYC, artichoke pizza, right across the street from the original uh, location in the East Village. I always get their pepperoni slice, but their margarita is amazing. Their signature artichoke, there it is. It's a little too much for me, but oh my God. And you know what? What better way to enjoy a pepperoni slice than with a side of leg lamp? I like leg. <laughs> oh yeah, give me that slice, baby. All right, guys, no food tour of NYC could be complete without checking out the Union Square Green Market. This place is amazing. So much fresh produce, so much good things to get. You get some baked goods, you get uh, some produce, um, anything you want. Definitely check it out, especially in fall. You get hot apple cider going on. It's delicious. Um, so, guys, again, thank you so much for joining me on this food tour of NYC. I ate my face off. I loved every minute of it. If you like this video, please smash that like button, share it with your friends, please subscribe, and until our next adventures at NYC, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.